Okay, I think I got it going. I didn't want to pause the video. Hi, everyone. My name's Yesenia, and I am going to do my second day, day two of learning CVC words with the short vowel sound for the letter E with a first grade class. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to continue learning about CVC words that focus on the short vowel sound for the letter E. Our learning objective for today is I can identify CVC words focusing on the short vowel sound for the letter E. So our learning objective has not changed. We're still focusing on CVC words. Our language objective, however, is different. Our language objective is I can read and write words with the short vowel sound for the letter E by noticing word families. So last time we used our CVC chart and you have your school bus chart in front of you to help you blend three parts of a word together. So we have the consonant, the vowel, and the consonant. We blended those together to read words that have the short vowel sound for the letter E. I wanna see if you can notice something today, something that can help you become a more fluent and faster reader. So let's do a quick review of um, blending these CVC words together and focusing on the short vowel sound for the letter E. So let's do a review. If I have these three parts of a word, let's sound them out and then we're going to blend them. Ready? P, E, N, HEN. Very good. How do we know what this says? Yeah, we sounded it out and we put it together and we were able to read the word. Let's do it again for another word. Ready? Let's sound it out. M, mm, E, eh, N, mm, men. Very nice. How do we know what this says? Again, we sounded each part out and we blend it together. What do you notice about these two words? What do you notice? Yeah, they both have E, N, in them. So the vowel is E and the second consonant is N. These, as we stated in the language objective, these are called word families. E-N is our word family. E-N is called a word family. So if you know the sound of E-N, how can that help you read CVC words faster? Hmm. Exactly. You don't have to sound out the three parts. Now it becomes just two parts. So let's sound out E-N together so we know what the sound is. What is the sound of E-N? Let's sound it out. E-N-N. Okay. So if E-N says N, Let's blend P and then E-N together. Okay, so now we're going to do two parts. We're going to sound out the consonant plus N. Okay, so the first consonant plus N. P, N, pen. Wow. Is that a lot faster than going P, E, N, pen? Yeah. You can still sound out the three parts. But if you're ready to advance a little more and read a little faster, if we know that E-N says N, we don't have to go P-N. We can just go P-N, pen. Nice. Let's see if we can sound out the next word, the second word that we did together using that strategy. Okay, so we have the letter M that we're going to sound out. And then we're going to put it together with N. P. Oops, sorry. M. N. Men. Very good. 
let's try using that strategy with a word we haven't done yet. So we have T, we have E, and we have N. So we're going to break this apart into the consonant. We're going to sound out the consonant. And then we're going to sound out EN together. Okay? So it's not three sounds now. It's two. T, N, 10. Good job. So we've sounded out the word 10 into two parts. So let's practice doing three parts and then let's practice doing two parts. We're going to sound it out until it's three parts and then it's two parts. So you can hear the difference and hear how faster it is to sound it out based on word families. So let's do three parts first. Okay, so we're going to sound out the consonant, vowel, and consonant separately. Ready? T, E, N, 10. All right, now let's do it in two parts. We're going to sound it out in two parts. T, N, 10. Great job. So let's move on. So again, we've learned about E, N word families. So when a consonant is added to the beginning of E, N, it makes a new word. So an E, N word families is when a consonant is added to the beginning of E, N, and it makes a new word. So you hear, you see this blank here? This blank is a consonant. You add an E, N to it, and you make a new word. So just to go over the words we just went over, so we have our consonant P in the word pen, and then we add E-N, and we make the word pen. When we have the consonant M, and we add E-N, we have M-N, men. Now we have the consonant T, we add the word family E-N, let's sound it out, to N, 10. What are other words that have E-N word families? So I want you to work with your table, the people at your table, and see if you can come up with other words that have an E-N word family. So what I suggest you do is take out your letter cards and you are going to find the vowel E and place it here under V. And in the second consonant, you're gonna find the letter N. So again, you're gonna leave the first consonant blank. You're going to put the E under the vowel and the second consonant is N. And you're just going to start building words that have E and word families in them. So start sticking consonants to see what kind of words do you come up with? What kind of CVC words can you come up with with the word family N? So ideally, I would have this under a document camera and I can show the kids clearly where to place their words. So after students have worked together, I'll ask them to participate and share their words. Okay, so what are some words you came up with? Oh, I heard someone say hen. So let's sound it out into two parts. H, N, hen, good job. What's another word that you've come up with? Someone said Ben. Ben is a name. So what should that letter B look like? It should be a capital B, but if you put a lowercase B, um, it's okay. But it should be an uppercase B. We're gonna put a lowercase B for today. So let's do Ben. What is the first letter? What's the first sound? B. And then the second sound is N. B. N, Ben. What's another word that you came up with? Den. So let's do den. D, N. Sound it out with our hands so we can see it, so we can count it. D, N, Den. Very good. 
Okay, so let's continue. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this, but I did show you in person that this is just a reminder that you can use your school bus CVC chart to help you. You should be using it. Okay. I want to look at some other CVC words that have the short vowel sound for the letter E. Let's put these three sounds together. P, E, T, pet. Very good. So we know that this says pet. Why? How do we know that? Because we sounded it out. Oh, I hear some friends are thinking that maybe we can do something to this word like we did with the others. Let's continue and see what we can do. Let's put these three sounds together. W, E, T, wet. Very good. So as I asked you before, what do you notice about these two words? Yeah, so they both have E, T. So at first we were talking, talking about E-N, now we're focusing on the word families, E-T. Okay, so instead of sounding out this word into three parts, we're going to sound it out into two parts. So you're going to sound out the consonant, and the second sound is going to be the vowel consonant, which is ET. What sound does ET make? Let's sound it out together to see. Et, et. So instead of going p, et, pet, we can go p, p, et, pet. I'm going to do that again. P, et, pet. Let's sound out the word wet into two parts instead of three using the word family et. W, et, wet. Nice. Let's try this one. So again, the vowel and consonant is going to be one sound. There we go. The vowel and the consonant will be one sound. So the first sound is n, and then the second sound is et. N, et, net. Good. So how can this help us when reading CBC words? It'll help us become more fluent readers because instead of sounding out three sounds in a CBC word, we could sound it out into two sounds. So I'm doing like this special trick with my finger. Our consonant is one sound, the first consonant is one sound, and then the vowel consonant are blended together to make one sound. I want to read these words just one more time to see if we can um, read them a little faster, okay? So as I underline it, I want you to tell me the sound. P et and together it's pet w et together is wet n et together is net what are other words that have i'm sorry that should say et you know teachers make mistakes so i'm gonna fix that So what are other words that have ET word families? So again, I want you to take your school bus chart 
and find the letters E. Put that under the vowel and T, which goes under the second consonant. I should have been black, but it's okay. Um, to help you build new words. So again, you're gonna take your vowel E and put it under the V. Take your consonant T and put it under the second T because this is our word family, et, and start building new words that have ET word families. Would anyone like to share? So after some time, I didn't ask if anyone would wanna share. Does anyone wanna share some new words they came up with? Okay, we have met, so let's sound it out. M, mm, et, met. We have let, l, et, let, and we have vet, at vet. Good job. Great words. So let's read. As we read, think about which word family the words belong to. E-N or E-T. Um, I want you to read out loud with me. If there's a word that you're stuck on, you can skip it. If not, um, just read along with me and we'll talk about each sentence. So we're reading together as a class and we're gonna talk about each sentence and see what we notice. So here's our first sentence. So as a reminder, what sound does E-N make? N. What sound does E-T make? at so you're going to see some words that have en or et in them so let's start rat had a pet what do you notice oh we see a few words that have et in them who would like to share which ones rat very good rat has the word family et its consonant is r in an et what else? Pet. Pet belongs to the word family with E-T. All right. The next sentence. Let's read it together. The pet has a net. What do you notice? You see two words that have a word family. The word family is E-T. So what are the two words? Pet. Net. Oh, the next sentence is a little tricky, so pay close attention. Let's read it together. The wet hen is in the den. Let's read it one more time because this sentence is a little longer. The wet hen is in the den. What do you see? So we have the word wet that has the word family ET. We have the word hen that has the word family EN. Anything else? And then we have the word den that has the word family EN. Let's do the next sentence together. The 10 men have a jet. I'm going to read it one more time. Let's read it together one more time. The 10 men have a jet. What do you notice? The word 10 has the word family E-N. The word men has the word family E-N. And the word jet has the word family E-T. So I'm gonna stop just doing these examples because of time. And I'm going to move on. But we will do the next sentence, the same sort of structure. All right, now, I want you to write a sentence using words from the list of word families. You can write a silly sentence. So then students will get time to write a sentence independently. And then I would ask them to share with their partners and then share out loud their sentence using these words. 
or some of these words. Let's reflect. So again, our language objective was I can read words with a short vowel E by noticing word families. So with your partner, share one thing you learned today and one thing you want to work on. So something you can say is one thing I learned today was, one thing I want to work on is. So you can use this sentence to help guide your idea when reflecting about our language objective of reading words with word families. And that's pretty much it. And then they can share out loud. Um, I would give them time to share out loud their ideas with the whole class so I can see how